Hello, this is Ruby from Handcrafted Simply By Us, and um, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a Julian Vance design stamp set. This one is called um, Bloom Trial. This stamp set coordinates with the Spellbinder um, dies, which is a Blossom, Blossom 3. And um, I'm going to show you how to stamp it and how to run it through uh, my Cutabug. I'm going to stamp on craft paper and I'm going to use the Ranger Archival Ink. Ink up my stamp and I'm going to stamp in the center. Perfect stamp. And Use this small one, stamp it in the center. Okay, so I stamped um, all three. Let me get up closer. Okay, now I'm going to lay the dies on them. So I'm going to start with the largest one first. The largest one, we use this, this die here. Spellbinders, and I'm gonna place this little ridge you see right here. I'm gonna place it down onto the stamp, and I'm just gonna line it up. Okay, and I just put a little bit of tape so the die won't move when I run it through the cuddle bug. Okay, so the only thing we need for the cuddle bug is A plate, C plate, I'm going to put my die facing down. And I'm going to use a B plate on top. Just run it through. Now we're going to um, emboss it. So it's already, already cut through. Now to emboss it, we take the C plate out, lay the die on the A plate. We're going to put this um, embossing mat on top. I got uh, two thin shims that are going to go in between my B plates. I'm going to run it through. And that embosses it and cuts and it embosses right at the end of the stamp which is perfect so let me go ahead and um, do the other one I also stamped them on um, just a regular paper it's a thinner piece of paper so let, let's cut these really quick and I will show you another way um, on how to assemble assemble these flowers there so cute. So we lay this one on top. So we turn it face up. We add a B plate. They're so simple to cut. No, I'm sorry, I forgot C plate. C and then B. We just gotta run it. This is thin paper, so. All right, I'm not going to emboss this one. I'm just going to cut it, and I will show you why. All right, so let's assemble these a little bit very quickly. Okay, so the first one is with, with craft paper. Get a zoom up here. 
and all I'm going to do is stack these on top of each other but I'm just going to add some um, foam tape to the back of it so I just add a piece of foam tape top of that one add a piece for the smaller one And for my center, I'm just going to add a little rhinestone in the middle. There, I'm going to glue it on with quick dry adhesive. Just add a little dot, put it in the middle. And here's one way we can do these flowers. This is perfect for a card, even a scrapbook page. And the other one, I like um, distressing a lot. So what I'm going to do to these, I just like thin paper, and I'm just going to crumble them up. We're just adding some distressing to it. So, and then I'm just going to open it up. Just, um, when you open them, be careful not to tear the leaves too much. So I, and I'm going to spread them out a little bit. And I think when you crumble it, it just gives it some nice dimension on it. And I'm going to, I'm not going to use any uh, foam tape or anything. I'm just going to glue them right on top of each other like this. That. And just a little dot there. Like this. And I'll just add another rhinestone in the center. Let me show you some variations of the flowers I made. Okay, so this is one that I that I distressed. So you can see that. This is the craft paper I just stacked on top of each other. And here's another one I made with craft paper. And this one has the stamped button in the center and then I just added some um, twine in the center. This one I just stacked it also and just added a rhinestone. This other one here, all I did was cut the two smaller ones out, just dressed it and added one in the center. And here is a card I made with one of the flowers. Sorry about that. And there is um, so much you can do with these flowers. This is dip set. I love it. So it comes with with three large stamps and a button. And it comes with um, little leaves on there. And there's a sentiment on the stem and on the leaves. And um, that's what I wanted to demonstrate. Thank you very much for watching.